Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. Happy Friday. It is Friday, so it's weigh-in day. We're going to talk about my week. We're also going to talk about the WW workshop topic. I'm going to share some new clothing that I found on Amazon, the outfit that I'm wearing today with you, and it's going to be a super fun video. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload a weigh-in every Friday and five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for Nutrition Coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. This is how myself, I've lost 90 pounds in 2022, and I'm just about 140 pounds lost total. Links and discounts to my favorite things, including my outfit of the day, this amazing new clothing company right off of Amazon, as well as my Facebook group. Come on over and join us there. We would love to have you. So let's jump into my week, my weigh-in, my outfit, and the WW workshop topic. Friday. I hope you had an amazing week. Actually, when you're seeing this video, I am currently in New Orleans. So I am filming this video early. I'm actually filming this on Wednesday. So a couple days early. It hasn't been very many days since my last weigh-in, so we'll see what the scale tells us. But before we jump into my week, my weigh-in, the workshop topic, let's talk about my outfit. You know that I am always, always on the hunt for affordable clothing, especially as I continue to lose weight, tone up, and my body changes, especially with my upcoming plastic surgery in less than 30 days. That completely blows my mind. In less than 30 days, I'm going to be having my plastic surgery. I also I'm always on the hunt for really comfortable at leisure wear and workout clothing because I spend a lot of time working out and I spend a lot of time working at home in comfortable clothing. So I discovered the brand Sunzel over on Amazon. They have some amazing, super high quality clothing for a really affordable price. So I went ahead and ordered myself three pieces and I am taking all three of these with me on my trip to New Orleans. First is this ribbed tank top. When this came in the mail, my husband goes, that looks like it will fit a five-year-old, but she is very, very stretchy and it definitely fits me perfectly and I am obsessed with the color of this and the quality. This is so thick, so buttery soft. This is the free to be tank top. It is a ribbed tank top that is cropped. It is only $16.99 before any discounts, and I do have a discount for you. You can buy it in a single color, or you can buy it in a pack of three of multiple colors. It comes in sizes extra small, small, medium, large, and then extra large, large. I went ahead and picked mine up in the size large, and like I said, it fits me perfectly. It is so comfortable. I love the thinner strap. So you could wear this to work out. You could wear this grocery shopping. You could wear this as at leisure wear around the house. It is that buttery soft, that comfortable, and that flattering. Now, you know, my back is an issue for me. I don't love all the loose skin on my stomach, but I feel really confident in this. And even though it's cropped, it sits at a perfect length. And like I said, I love the color. It does come in several colors, but I love this kind of bright summery blue. And then I decided to pick up some biker shorts. I live in Arizona, so it gets really hot here in the summer. And I pretty much live in biker shorts, not only at home, but at the gym. And what I loved about the Sunzel biker shorts is they come in multiple inseam so you can get shorter biker shorts mid and long which is great for me with all of my loose skin so these are the high waist biker shorts for women with no front seam also very much appreciate that they are $23.99 before any discounts and they come in about 11 colors inseams of 5 8 and 10 inches in sizes extra small through 3 X, so a really, really good size, size range. I got mine in periwinkle and I did the five inch inseam. That is perfect for me. It's long enough that it covers my loose skin, but I also love that there's an eight inch and a 10 inch, so you can have it go all the way to the knee if you're more comfortable with that. And I love the size range as well as all of the colors. And this periwinkle blue is so beautiful. I got mine in a size large and they fit me perfectly. And then lastly, I wanted some flare leggings. I have some 
dressier flare leggings, but I wanted some workout flare leggings, again, to wear around the house, to wear to the gym, and I love that these also do not have a seam, and they have that very flattering crisscross around the stomach area, which is all the rage and very flattering on all figures. These are the Senzel flare leggings with pockets. Also love that there's pockets. These also have tummy control. They're high-waisted and high-legged. They're $27.99 before any discounts. They do come in 10 colors and they have a 30, 32, and 34 inch inseam option as well as sizes extra small through extra extra large. I got mine in a size large and they fit perfectly. I could have even sized down, but I feel like they have just the right amount of compression in the tummy area. They are the perfect length for me because I am on the taller side. So make sure that you get the inseam that works best for you. And they are so silky and so comfortable. Like I said, I love that crisscross detail at the waist. It definitely adds some tummy control and makes the figure flattering. And I love the V-neck on the booty as well. Kind of plumps that up and makes that look great as well. These are so comfortable. I'm actually wearing the leggings and the top today and I love them and I can't believe how affordable these are. Think Lululemon. It would be two, three, four times the price and the quality of these from Sunzel on Amazon are incredible. I do have a 10% off discount for you. I will link all three pieces down below with all of the discount information, but I had to share it with you whenever I find a good clothing line that's comfortable and affordable. I will definitely share it with you. You're my friends and you need to know, I'm not gonna gatekeep all the good clothing options on Amazon, Sunzel included. So let's chat a little bit about my week. I had a really good week. I had a short week. As you know, like I mentioned, I'm in New Orleans. I actually am leaving today, Wednesday, and I won't be back until very late Sunday, pretty much Monday. I'm going for a conference and then I'm doing a little mini subscriber meetup. I had a free day while I was there and I really want to sightsee because I've never been to New Orleans. So I thought, let's do a meetup, let's do some tours, let's go have dinner. So I'm really excited. With the last couple months I've had between Diesel and Lola, I definitely need a vacation. I did pack all of my favorite healthy snacks. When I travel, I do my best to eat a lot of my normal food, especially the food that I can control. So I always pack snacks, I did bring some tuna packets with me, little packs of nuts, beef jerky, protein bars, and I always pack my protein shake so that I can start my day off as normal with a protein coffee. That way I make sure that I'm still getting in my protein while traveling. Typically when I travel, I don't track my food. So that's gonna be the case. I'm not going to track, but I'm always mindful, but I still enjoy my trip. I'm having all the New Orleans foods. We're doing crawfish, po' boys, beignets, jambalaya. I'm gonna try it all because like I said, I've never been to New Orleans. So we'll see how that all translates into next week's weigh-in. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram because that's where I'll be posting pictures and things from my trip. And I will probably do a big post in my Facebook group once I get home. So make sure you come on over and join my Facebook group as well. So I wanna talk about the WW or the Weight Watchers Workshop. This is such a good one. It's how to use your favorite activities to reach your goals. Picture this, you had a long day at work. You get home, you take a look at your fitness tracker and you think, I really need to get some steps in and I really need to prep dinner. And honestly, you're not too excited about either one of those things. You really feel like you just wanna curl up on the couch and relax because like I said, it's been a really long day at work. This can be a big tug of war that we have on our weight loss journey. Do we meal prep and get our steps in or do we get on the couch? There's some things you can do to determine what's best for you. Some days it is getting your steps in and prepping your meals and some days it's sitting on the couch. So try this, make two side-by-side -side lists. The first thing is things I generally, genuinely enjoy doing, such as reading, watching TV, hanging out with friends, or listening to podcasts. Or the second list, things I don't love doing but that help me reach my goals. Going for a walk, waking up earlier, grocery shopping, meal prepping. Match an activity from each list that you could do at the same time. Time. This is actually called temptation bundling. That means pairing something you love with something you should or must do that maybe you don't enjoy as much. So think about this, folding laundry. Maybe it's not your favorite chore, but if you listen to a podcast or talk on the phone with a friend, it definitely makes folding laundry a lot less horrible. That is temptation building. You took something, folding laundry, that you don't enjoy and you paired it with something you do enjoy like talking to a good friend or listening to a podcast. This can really breathe new life into routines and help build healthy habits. We're not, I'm not suggesting that you do things you absolutely hate. Like if you hate to run, I'm not saying you should go out and take a five mile run, but maybe during your favorite TV show, you walk laps or jog around your living room. That is a good idea. 
that is a good way to temptation build, doing something you love with something you don't love. The behaviors, the routines that we have to do to reach our weight loss goals, to reach our health goals, they're not always fun, but they're essential. We do have to sometimes do things that we don't want to do to reach our goals. But like I said, if we pair this with something we enjoy, it can make it a lot easier to stick with and honestly a lot easier to do day to day. I do want to share three fast facts from Weight Watchers with you. We're more likely to repeat behaviors we find enjoyable. Number two, by pairing something we don't like doing with something we do enjoy, we're more likely to do it. And number three, behavioral scientists call this temptation building. All of this paired together will make your journey towards weight loss or a healthy lifestyle a lot more enjoyable. Not to mention you'll get all the things you don't love doing done in a more enjoyable way as well. So I really like this topic because I know if you are someone who tends to procrastinate or put things off, it's always the things we don't enjoy. But if we temptation build the things we don't enjoy with things we do, we're more likely to get them done and way more likely to reach our goals. Speaking of goals, let's talk about my weigh in. As I mentioned last week, I maintain my weight, which is great. That's kind of the point in my journey that I'm at. It's only been a few days since my last weigh-in. I weigh in typically on Fridays, and like I said, it is Wednesday that I'm weighing in today. I am just a few days from starting my cycle, not happy that it's probably going to start on my trip. So when I stepped on the scale today, I'm actually up 0.2. That's really nothing. It's cons I consider that a maintain, and especially with all the hormonal changes that are going on, and the fact that I had a baby shower on Sunday where I had cake and all the good food, we went out to dinner. I'm happy with a point two gain, which is basically in my eyes a maintain, which like I mentioned, is kind of where I'm at in my journey. Now on my trip to New Orleans, my goal is to also maintain my weight. I don't anticipate losing any weight, so a maintenance would be amazing. If I'm up a little bit on the scale, that can be a lot of travel bloat, which typically goes away in a few days. But lucky for me, I actually come home basically Monday and then don't have to weigh in again until Friday. So all the travel bloat, all the travel bloat should be gone and it'll be a true indication of how I did on my trip to New Orleans. So like I said, I'm happy with a point two gain, which is essentially in my eyes, a main take. So now I want to hear from you guys. How was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose on the scale? Also, let me know how you temptation build. What is one thing you hate to do? And one thing you love to do that you pair together to get the thing you hate to do done? Let us know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not, because I do a weigh in every Friday and I do upload five videos every single week. Check out that description box down below for Sunzel with a discount code. Highly recommend their clothing. So cute, so comfortable, so affordable, as well as nutrition coaching. Links and discounts to my favorite things. And come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you for watching. And as a reminder, there will be a grocery haul tomorrow, but there will not be a video on Sunday and I will not have a meal prep on Monday. Have a good weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.